Okay, so in this video, I'll discuss one of the questions that was asked to me in Misho's interview. So I interviewed for the position of business analyst. So I'll just share, I would just like to share my experience. I hope this will help you. Um, so the question goes, I have this table. So I have this table. It, this table has two columns, seat number and occupancy. So occupancy is a Boolean uh, variable, Boolean, it's, uh, the column is Boolean in nature. And here one in, indicates that the seat is occupied and zero indicates that the seat is not occupied. So these, all these are the seat numbers in a cinema. Now there are three rows, A, row A, row B and row C. So uh, in row A, there are seats numbered 1 to 10, similarly in row B and same thing in row C. So what I want here, I want the sequence of four seats which belong to the same row. So there are two conditions. So I want sequence of four seats. Okay. First thing, belong to same row. Second thing that seats, those four seats are consecutive, that is, they are adjacent. Now, so here, so these are the two conditions. Now, uh, Okay, and the output that I want, suppose this is one of the probable answer set. This is something which will be there in the answer set. A3, A4, A5 and A6. Now, that means our output will look something like this. A3, A6. So, the starting seat in the sequence and the last seat in the sequence. This is what the output will look like. Okay. Um, achha, though they belong to the same row, what I mean by this is that C now A9, A10, B1, B2 they also look adjacent after A10, we have B1, but these four seats will not fall in the answer set. Why is that? Because A10 and B1 are not, uh, A10 and B1 do not belong to the same row. Um, so, you can pause the video here. I would suggest that you give this question a shot. You should try it yourself. That will all uh, will surely help you in problem solving. And uh, yeah, after that, I'll, uh, we'll discuss the solution together. I hope you have taken a pause. You have given this a try. So let's just start with the solution. So the approach that I'm going to use will involve the lead function that is used in MySQL. Now, what is, so to people who are not aware of the lead window function, what the lead window function will do, it will take a column and a value. So this means that for a given column, suppose the column is occupancy. We will, if I say the value is 1, then it will give, so it will display the value of, so it will give me the leading value for that column, leading value by 1. So if I say value, if I keep value as 2, it will give me leading value for that column led by 2 places. I hope I have made myself clear. Uh, this will become more clear as we proceed further. So see, um, okay, select. Now, the first thing is, we'll select everything. Then, in front of A1, so I my approach is that I'll create a grid and do a sum. So for every seat where the sum is zero, 
that will be a part of our answer set so in a1 i list down the occupancy of a2 a3 and a4 also so for that i'll use the lead window function now i'll write lead the column that for which we want the lead is occupancy and the value by which we want it to be led is 1 over now i would want to partition this now this thing is exclusive for rows because this is our first condition belong to the same row so in front of a9 i should not get the occupancy values for i will get the occupancy value of a10 for sure but i should not get the occupancy value for b1 and b2 so for that i'll make i'll i'll make that sure by doing a partition so partition by now uh, i would want to partition by the first so how do i get to know the row by looking at the first character in the seat number string so how will i get how to extract the first character we'll use the substring function now for the people who do not know what is the syntax for substring i'll just brief you about it here substring the name of the column the first um, name of the column start index and the length of the string after starting so from the start length of the string from the start index start index as in from where we want to extract place the string from the index from where we want to start start our extraction so a uh, substring the name of the column this is seat number first so i want the extraction to start from the first index itself so here in uh, sql uh, indexing starts from one and the length i that i want of my output string is one so the length of the out, output string is one now same thing i'll do to get the occupancy for the leading for the seat number which is two places ahead of a1 that is a3 so i'll write two here lead occupancy comma two over now again partition by I, I hope you have understood why we are using partition seat number one comma now i'll just copy paste this because the code remains same and occupancy now we want three places ahead so this particular code piece of code will give me the occupancy for uh, a4 and this will list it in front of a1 um from which table are we going to select this data cinema tickets okay so okay i should so this looks very messy so that's why i'll use the alias as s1 you can use the as keyword it's not mandatory or you can skip it also see now for so we have partitioned it that's why i'm getting these values null if i would not have used this partition by uh, line what i would have got here gotten here is in front of eight and i would have got the occupancy for b1 b2 and b3 now in front of 8 and what i am getting zero null null because they accord because due to partition there is nothing ahead of it so this is the grid now what i'll do i'll write another query so let it be tab 1 Now I'll write another query. Select star 
so we are going to select this from tab one of course i would like to sum all of it so occupancy comma plus s1 plus s2 plus s3 comma now i want the seat four places sorry three places ahead of it because that will be because we want the output in this format right so a6 is four basically it's three places ahead of a3 so this is the this will form the sequence of four seats that's why i'll write here lead now in which row for which row i would want the lead i would want it for seat number and how many places three places over partition partition by substring same thing for the same reason okay as end seat end seat as an end seat in the sequence Okay, I haven't closed the partition uh, the this parenthesis here. That's why I'm getting this red line. Okay, so let's see what we get here. So we have got the sum. Now I'll write one more code snippet which will so what is the logic we want so the, let it be sum sum as occupancy sum now we want this occupancy sum to be zero because we want the set of four seats to be empty So now the third, the next thing that I'll write is where seat, end seat, sorry, not aware, occupancy sum is equal to zero. So th this will be, this will give us our final answer set. Okay, there is a problem. We cannot use this alias. So I'll write having. So let it be tab two. So comma tab two as. Now I'll select seat number comma end seat from.
किताब पर सॉरी आई हैव सिलेक्टेड आई हैव रिटन टैब वन इट शुड बी टैब टू वेर ऑक्यूपेंसी सम इज इक्वल टू जीरो so this is what we wanted this is our output okay so if you have any doubts or if you think you have a better approach than this or maybe some other approach apart from this please share it please let me know in the comment section so that's all this is something i wanted to share and if you really like this video please do like and subscribe my channel because that will surely that will really motivate me to make more such videos and thank you